Alright guys, so now that your brain is bursting with knowledge about the heap, let's go ahead and actually make an expandable application utilizing the heap because, I mean, that was the goal of all this crap, wasn't it? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a program where, I don't know, we'll say that the uh, user can enter a bunch of numbers and average them together. However, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently than we have before because before we can just be like, uh, I don't know, create an array with like 10 numbers. Well, in this program, we're going to allow the user to enter exactly how many numbers um, they want to average together. And this would be awesome. Again, this is just going to be a really simple concept, but this is good for if you have a bunch of students in the college or employees for a company. You can use this and expand it to pretty much make any program you want. So we need a couple counters, int i and how many. This, this is just going to be the counter variable, and this how many is... Um, how many items you want to store like um, students, employees, tomato, tomato. And now we just need some stuff for to calculate the average. So total float average and just set this to 0, 0.0 for right now. We're going to be changing that. And from the last, last tutorial, actually tutorials, I guess I should say, int points array. Now, the first thing we can do is pretty much give them a prompt. Be like, all right, um, I guess we'll just like average, I don't know, whatever number. So how many numbers do you want to average? And I guess we don't need anything else. So kick that to a new line. And now we need a way to scan it in. So scan F. Why do I keep hitting D? What the heck? percent D and of course um whatever they enter we're gonna store in this variable how many so this is just a regular integer so we need that ampersand how many so now we got how many um, numbers they wanted to average stored in that variable we can move on so what we need to do now is say okay go to the heap and create an array that's this big so they if they if they entered five create an array that's five elements long that can store five integers in this case so we'll put points array oh, it already did it for us sweet equals what are we storing well we are storing ints so typecast this to ints because we need to do that whenever we allocate memory and then malloc and the first thing remember is how many of these items do you want to store in in the last tutorial we just wrote five but now the user actually entered that value manually and then multiply this by the size of however big an integer is on your computer. So again, if the user enters 5 and an int is 4 bytes long, it's going to say, okay, this is 4 bytes, multiply it by 5, so we have 20 bytes, then go ahead and reserve 20 bytes of memory so we can store a bunch of stuff in this points array. So now this points array is just like a normal array. We can use point zero. I might as well type that out. So what the, that's not what I'm trying to use. There we go. So now we can use stuff like point zero, points one, points two. We can just treat this as a normal array. However, it's a lot cooler because um, the user kind of helped in creating it and it's expandable. So pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and do something else now. So printf. So now that we have um, space to store a bunch of numbers, we can just give them a little prompt and be like, well, enter them. Hoss, give them an explanation. Let them really know that we really want them to enter them. So the next thing I want to do is this. Now that they um, pretty much have that little prompt, we're just going to loop through and allow them to enter um, five different numbers. So four and this is where that counter variable comes in. So I is actually, what the heck am I doing? I'm just thinking about star crunches, to be honest, because they are delicious and I have them stuck in my teeth because I just ate about 40 of them. So I is less than how many? And I plus plus. You know what? I've actually been programming a uh, Python for the last couple, I don't know, the last couple days. And in Python, you don't use any semicolons and you don't even use uh, these little curly brackets it's really weird so that's why I'm like okay how do you program C again I don't know duh, 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 I forgot so 
All right, so anyways, we need a way for the user to scan in a bunch of different numbers. So percent D, and again, this is gonna run five different times and store it in points array I, I, I. All right, so after this, what they're gonna do is they're pretty much gonna enter a number and you're gonna store it in points array zero, one, two, three, four, until our array is completely populated with however many numbers they chose to enter. So of course, just to um, calculate the average, we need the total or sum of those numbers. So points array i, pretty much for each loop, whatever number they enter, add it to a total, and this is just so we can figure out the average later on, which we will do right now. So now that we have an array, this is the easy stuff. First of all, set this equal to type cast the float total. And put this, I guess what, might as well add some space. Actually, I'm just gonna copy this because I'm too lazy to type two freaking characters. And how many? Now remember, both of these variables total and how many were integers, so the average is a float so we need to typecast those the floats and of course in order to figure out the average of something you take the total amount by however many items and boom there you have it so printf we'll just put something like average is percent f and average so pretty fr well I almost saw uh, curse there and probably shouldn't do that for YouTube so pretty uh, freaking sweet and hopefully I don't have any bugs here alright dude how many numbers do you want to average let's just enter uh, five numbers he says well enter them Haas oh, okay take it easy there alright so what are these like points I'll put like 21 uh, 28 62 87 and 4 this guy sucks so hit enter it says the average is 56.000. So if you ever want to know what the average of all these numbers were, there you go. And if you want to learn how to make an expandable program using the heap with all of the knowledge that we ever learned, then you also got that at this tutorial as well. And by the way, in order to get a job programming C, the heap is one of the things that you definitely need to know um, like the back of your hand. So watch these last couple tutorials, learn it. If you have any questions, ask me on my forum. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about structures. So there's a lot more to the heap, but I just wanted to show you guys the basics and now we can move on to something. And to tell you the truth, it's a lot easier than all this crap. So next tutorial structures, see you there.